What's up everybody, this is Derek here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the T5 500GB portable SSD from Samsung. And I've already unboxed the 1TB version, so this is the 1TB version of the T5, and we're going to be unboxing a 500GB version today. And the main difference, other than the capacity of course, is that the 250 and 500GB versions come in a blue color, as you can see on the front of the box here, whereas the one and two terabyte versions come in a matte black color, um, like this one. So let's take a look at the box. It's very similar to the, the one terabyte box. And we'll take a look here at the back of it. And if you want to see that, um, that unboxing, I'll link it in the description below. We'll take a look here. It says uh, fast 540 megabytes per second. So that's quite a bit more than the T3. Um, and this uses 3.1 Gen 2 USB. So either Type C or Type A. Um, but it has to be a port capable of the 10 gigabits per second for the maximum transfer. Otherwise, you're going to be transferring slower than what this drive is capable of. And it uses a compact and lightweight. Um, aluminum exterior. It's a uh, metal finish that looks very nice. It feels durable and it says it's a convenient palm size. It's very small, shock resistant because there are no moving parts unlike a mechanical drive which is nice. There is hardware encryption available on these so if you want to set that up you can set up as a secure drive and USB-C and USB-A support. So that's good because if you have a computer that doesn't have a native USB-C port on it, but it has a USB 3.0 or 3.1 type A port, it's a blue port on most computers, um, then you can still use this drive and you can still achieve some pretty quick speeds a lot faster than most USB based drives. So we'll take a look here, orient that the right way. And again, very similar to the um, the one terabyte T5. Here is the the product. We'll go ahead and pop this off. All right. So now that we've popped this off, you can see here is the drive itself. It is quite small, um, as one would expect. And it is the same size as the the one terabyte. So again, other than the color, oh, let me just turn that over. There we go. So other than the color, the drives are identical. And on the side of it, of course, it does say what um, the capacity is. So this one will say 500, this one will say one terabyte. So and I'll show you that here. So you can see right here, it says, let's see if we can get to focus on the hand, maybe. There we go. So you can see one terabyte right there, and this one says 500 gigabytes. So we'll put that one away, and we'll take a look at what else is in the box here. Pop this open. It's the wrong way. There we go. So here's our quick start guide. If you want to take a look at that, I will um, just leave it up here. So if you want to freeze frame and read through it, you can. And all these drives are rated at a maximum throughput of 540 megabytes per second. That's for sequential read, I believe. And then we'll just go to France. And then I believe this is Spanish. Yep. And then here's the warranty for that. So we'll just swipe through. And that's that. Cool. So now we'll take a look at the cables that they include. They include very nice cables, and it looks to be identical to what they're, um, they include in the one terabyte version. So you have your native Type-C to Type-C port. So the drive itself has a USB Type-C port on it. Let's say it's a little hard to see. There we go. So you can see that's a Type-C port, which I like because they're durable, they're reversible, um, and I think that they will hold up well over uh, because you're going to be using this drive for a number of years most likely. So here is your C-to-C cable, and then they also include a Type-C to Type-A cable, which is nice, again, for those computers that don't have a, um, a Type-C port built into them. So that's pretty much what you get. Um, I like the presentation of the drive. I think that the cables are high quality. Part of me kind of wishes that the cables were blue to match the drive. It's a very nice blue. Um, I say I wasn't really sure what to expect. It's very close actually to uh, what you can see on the box. It's a very, very similar hue of blue. And it's nice. It's it, I, I think that it's not too overstated. It's not very in your face, but at the same point, I think that it adds a little bit more style to the drive than, than just like a black drive. So part of me wishes that the 
cables were blue, but I understand that most people prefer black cables and they uh, go along with most builds better. So I like that they include both cables. I like that they include the, um, the cable tie around the cable. So that's pretty cool too. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this unboxing of the Samsung Portable SSD T5. This is the 500 gig version. It sells for around 170 or so right now. Um, they also have a 250 gig version, which is also blue. And then they have a one and two terabyte versions, uh, which are black. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this sort of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I uh, hope to see you in a future video soon. See ya.